uh, almost half the month's gone now. Tomorrow is mid-month. Um, and I challenged myself to go beyond the theme of my blog, which is fusion, fusion cuisine, mixing um, textures and flavors from different countries, um, to come up with normally savory dishes and sometimes desserts. Um, and I decided to move into uh, an additional campaign for a month with daily recipes uh, that are completely refined sugar free. Okay, so the recipe for today um, so we're going to be going live once every week, every Sunday night. The recipe that we're making for today are espresso date squares, which are sugar-free. They completely capitalize on the, um, the date flavor. So oat uh, desserts are essentially two layers of thin, um, basically oat layers, oat cake layers, and they're completely filled up with this amazing date paste. Um, that is infused with espresso, so it's, it's a lovely thing to have in the middle of the afternoon when you want to have your sugar fix, um, and it will give you that caffeine kick. So we're going to start off with making the, the paste filling, because that's going to be a bit hot because of this hot water, so we're going to leave that to cool and get started on the batter. Um, you will need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees um, Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and yeah, just in terms of the equipment, food processor or a strong blender, you're gonna need a mixing bowl and a spoon, and a baking dish or a square eight inch Pyrex dish with a bit of parchment paper in the middle. Needs to be overhanging from the side so we can easily take this thing out once it's baked. Rightio, so we are going to put this in. All of the dates go into the food processor. Espresso powder. So that's two teaspoons of espresso powder and all of this water. Okay, so it's okay if it has a few chunks in there, that's absolutely fine. But you don't want it to be too runny, so let me just show you the consistency that I've got here. So it's still quite pasty, but not too chunky. Like I said, a cup and a half of oat flour, one cup of ready rolled oats. So if you want this to be gluten-free, you can get the gluten-free um, oats, grind them up yourself. Um, two thirds of a cup of coconut sugar, put that all in there. The baking powder. So that's half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of salt. Make sure that's all well combined. We're pouring in the half a cup of coconut oil and the vanilla. You want to mix this up until it's evenly coated. It's still going to be a bit crumbly, but when you stick it into the oven, that crumble is just going to go away and it should all stick together nicely. So it's starting to look almost like a, like a pie crust, like crumbly pie crust before you start spreading it onto the base of the pan, uh, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to take half of this mixture and set it aside because that's going to be the top layer. And we're gonna take the rest of this, take a cup out and just reserve it for the topping. Cup. And we'll put the rest of this at the base of the pan. You take the lower end of the, the batter, the, the half of the batter basically, and get something hard like and flat at the bottom. And you really wanna like flatten the stuff up, okay? And you want to flatten it up because it will help it stick together and bind um, when it's in the oven. Because there isn't there isn't much liquid in here. We're really just relying on the um, the coconut oil and the vanilla to bind this together. Um, so that's why it's super important that you get this almost like a cheesecake crust at the bottom, as flat and rigid as possible. So, Pretty flat look, so it's still a bit runny and you want it to be runny because you want it to spread really evenly onto the base. So stick that all in there. 
and just spread it out with the base of your spoon. Okay, so this part, you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to push it through the, the batter, so the, the date paste. So we're going to kind of sprinkle it on top as evenly as possible and use our hands a bit here and just like spread it out with some gentle pressure. Yeah, and then this goes in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Whereas um, they basically go into the fridge and they can stay up in the fridge for about a week. Um, you just put them in the fridge, cover them up with cling film. They even go in the freezer, so you can put them in the freezer and they'll freeze for about two months in there. And you can take them out as you please. Just make sure that you have them separated so you can take them out as you want. All right, so that's going in now.